I feel like we got bait and switched. Like, I feel like last week was just like, oh, look, little children come into the van for the candy. I think I've made a big mistake. Well, week one's workouts are basically all upper body one day, all legs the other day, abs every day, cardio every day. Week two, when it comes to cardio, is two a day. So we started this week, and the first thing Steve tells us we gotta do extra cardio now, which is upsetting. 15 to 20 minutes in the morning, and then in the afternoon to evening, I need the big cardio. Or you can switch it. It doesn't matter, as long as we get all three parts, the two cardios and the one workout. How you feeling? <laughs> Maybe that was English, I'm not sure. So it's like we do our cardio here, and then we go home, and then we do more cardio. See the wife, see the baby. All right, I'm back out again for another 30 minutes worth of cardio. <laughs> Bye. With Clint, he has a child, which keeps him up late at night. You've gotta make it very unemotional. I'm gonna come in and work out. I know I'm exhausted, I'm just gonna get this done, then I'm gonna go home. I know it takes a lot, but you'll really be happy you did it. <coughs> First night of my two a days. <sighs> Clearly, I'm not <coughs> wheezing or anything. <clears throat> I hate the extra cardio that we're about to get. I'm super jealous that Joe only has to do like half the amount of cardio as everyone else. I feel like me and Cruz are doing cardio like all day long, and then, you know, we still have another 30 or 40 minutes to go, and Joe's like, see you later, I'm leaving. <laughs> but still, that's a lot. I love just hanging out. Still tiring. If you don't see change right away, you don't think this is gonna work. So you need to see change. Change gets you excited. Change gets you to come into the gym when you're sore. Gets you to work out. If you don't see anything, there's no reason to do this. I'm starting to see muscles kind of get harder. And I, I mean, I think they're muscles. Joe told me after the first week, he said, I didn't believe you when you told me all these changes were gonna happen. Joe has a bicep. He said he looked down and he can turn his hand and there's a line there. The gloves are really just cosmetic. These, these don't help at all. But it makes me look cooler. He wasn't into it at the beginning, but now he's, he's getting into it because he's seeing the changes. Now, the down is just as important as the pull-up. We want a real V, and that comes from stretching those muscles out. So hang first, hold. Use your feet, squeeze and pull. Jump up, good, down. This is how we learn to do a pull-up. It would seem like cheating to some people, but it's not. If you can't do a pull-up, then he's gonna get nothing done. But by using this, he's doing the pull-up, he's getting 100% of what he can get done, and then eventually he won't need to use it, and then we start doing the pull-ups for real. But remember, use the step. The step is such a great tool. I'm starting to see a little bit of some changes. I feel like I look a little funky right now. I've never seen my spare tire more clearly than I did the other day. My spare tire is on wonderful display these days. Because <laughs> apparently I lose weight from like the shoulders down. <laughs> so I've known that I've got a spare tire. It just blended in so well with the rest. I had like several spare tires. Yeah. I guess. Wow. That's called the Tootsie minute Roll. Minute. It's, it's, it's just one straight thing. So it was it was oddly discouraging at first, but then just talking to Steve about it, it's like no, that's, that's kind of how it works. We don't just go like that. We kind of do this. This is where people break. That's why week two freaks people out because they start to see these things come in and they're like, whoa, I, I have great arms. This is looking good and this is big and everybody freaks out. You got to get through that. It's a rite of passage. You want to pull that shirt up? I'll measure you right now. It's down. You want to see? I'll yes, show you. I okay, do, hold on. One week, an inch and a half. God. Anybody would take an inch and a half off in a month, they'd be happy. He did it in one week. So get over here, put it right here. The other day I was lifting, and Steve made everyone come by and like, look at this part of her back, it's looking so much better. So um, that's cool. Now, when she puts a sleeveless top on, she sees a little line in there. That makes somebody feel and look a lot more fit. And then it starts to get very contagious. You get into it more. What is this working? your chest, your shoulders, your triceps. And since you're locked in like this, your core gets really involved. Ooh. The goal for Juliana in week two is now to target the hips and the arms. Really important for her because all of a sudden, at the end of one week, I can see a separation from her shoulder into her arm. 
huge thing. There, sit up, push up. Beautiful. That's the best one. I'm really impressed with your sweating. I, I'm very impressed with my sweating. And by impressed, I mean like thoroughly perturbed. I have noticed that I've lost weight. I'm shrinking, which sounds like a terrible 80s movie, but like, uh... Uh, or a great 80s movie. I don't know, I feel like me and a lot of people have a tendency to self-sabotage. For some people, it's like you start seeing results or you start going in a positive direction and then it's like, yes, I'm so motivated to like be doubly awesome. And for some of us, it's like, oh, great, now I can quit and sleep and never do anything again and cry. So week two is about buying in all over again to being sore, working out harder and doing stuff you've never done before. The only thing concerning me is the question, am I going to actually be able to do this? Like, am I going to find it within myself to not be a huge baby? It's like three hours a day and it's starting to kind of like wear on me. The novelty has worn off and now I'm just tired. I like that it works on my booty. It's good. Uh -huh. So oh, overall though, I'm really tired and I would rather be taking a nap right now. So. I'm not as sore anymore. I have a lot of energy. Like, I'm a surprising amount of energy. Physically, it's getting better. It's getting easier, which I, Steve's not hearing. It's getting more manageable. I think that's the right word. Counting is like the hardest thing. Cause see right now, I don't know if I'm at three or at 18 or at 29. Ah, f I feel like anything like this, the biggest challenge is yourself. And maybe that's what this whole acting thing is about. It's just the difference between the people who have the mental fortitude to like, not only push through this experience because f it, they wanna play Star-Lord, but for people to tell you you're too tall, you're too short, you're too fat, you're too whatever, and then keep going. And I don't know if I have that. Abs pulled in, head straight ahead, breathe out, pull it into your ears, hold, open all the way. So starfish, yep. earmuffs. Starfish and earmuffs, ready, go. Starfish is nice, it's earmuffs that are, ugh. I totally lost count again. I feel like I have to work a little bit harder to hit my goals, I'm not, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Look at this, the big daddy weights. I'm the kind of person that after a couple weeks of something, I feel like really good and I'm like, oh my God, I'm like the healthiest person in the world. And then I stop. I just totally stop like when it gets hard. I don't know if I actually realize that about myself until I've been doing this because if I wasn't doing the show, I think I would have stopped by now. But now that we're like keeping going, like there's something inside of me that's definitely resisting that. And it's like, don't run today. Don't go, stay in bed, like eat that chocolate pudding. Like, there's some voice inside of me telling me things that would make me fail. And so I think that's going to be a challenge. All in all, my goal to get just as enormous as I possibly can get, I think is going well. <laughs> it's a little hard to tell right now because I'm just sort of in the losing phase. I gotta lose all this fat. But if the places on me that are sore are the places that are gonna get big, um, I don't like want to think about the end goal because the end goal is the scariest thing for me. So I don't want to know where I am. I don't want to. I don't want to know whether or not I'm like perfectly on track because then the pressure is there to like stay on track. And then if I'm a little behind, then it's like, oh my god, I can catch up. And then I'm, if I'm ahead, it's like, oh, I don't gotta do. So I don't want to know. I want to just do what I need to do and push forward, and we'll see where I get to, and that'll be the end of it. I can't feel my arms right now. So I'm sitting in my car uh, until I feel like I can responsibly operate it for the drive home. So I'm just gonna be a minute. Hey. 